and played loose, played free, and I'm sure the Suns want to get a little bit of revenge. This is to begin the game. Chris Paul whips it over to Jay Crowder. Crowder has been on. I like it. Free shot there for Lonnie. Mikhail Bridges as he moves around Drew Eubanks and throws it down. Type of help from the weak side. Bridges able to beat Eubanks on the perimeter getting e and gets an easy dunk. And Devin Booker steps into an open three and knocks it down. Still to be determined, but we do know they will play on Wednesday. Spurs one for their first six as they come out of the timeout. Patty Mills, but he bounces it right to Crowder. And here's Chris Paul in transition. Crowder, extra pass. Bridges, open three. In San Antonio, nonetheless. An underrated player, too, let me tell you. I've faced him a ton in practice, and I still have nursing. That's true. <laughs> not, uh, not necessarily the awards you want to win, especially if you're Dwayne Casey. Yeah, right. Falls through with a nice contest. It's a hard matchup on the perimeter. You have to guard Devin Booker one-on-one. -on -one. Big body gets inside. Coming from Villanova, as we mentioned. Averaging career best. He's in consideration for most improved player, but as we talked about the art basketball right. player, good IQ, always in the right spot on both ends of the floor. And right, right on, on cue. cue. There you go. <laughs> Elbow jumper. Here come the Suns with just over two minutes to go in the first up 15. And that's Booker inside on the in the opening quarter. Booker backs his way in on Quindary. That guy is instant offense. Uh, just a great pickup for them. Solid defensive player and has the ability to shoot the three ball as well. And more fast break points there for the Suns. That second unit in, continue to apply the pressure, and that's exactly what the Suns are doing. Spurs can go two for one here, and they do just that. Is nice. the most part, who yeah. knows what happens. And still here's Chris Paul. 16 seasons, has yet to play in an NBA final. Well, not everybody gets to play in an NBA <laughs> Not bad at all. I wonder if he knew what he was doing there. Demi Duncan Knight, he's banking it off the glass. And Chris Bounce pass, good hands by Gorgie just to come up with it. I like the finish. Gorgie's giving it all on both ends here as Cameron Payne is a terrific finisher. He just adds that consistency from beyond the arc, and you got a terrific player. Cameron Payne, the three. And now it's all about, of course, load management and rest, which clearly the Spurs do need, and that's why DeMar DeRozan, Yaka Pertle aren't playing. There's Eubanks for the defense inside on Dario Saric in transition. Keldon for three. Got it. For Quindari Weatherspoon for Trey Jones. Gets a chance to guard Chris Paul. And Weatherspoon. Only Gary Payton on him on that ball club. And Detroit still uh, mopped the floor with him. So uh, that was a tremendous. As many as 21 in this game. Needed by 13 as Chris Paul eyes up the three. I just can't get him to fall, but I love the movement from our guys at possession. Mixed up the Suns. And you find yourself with a wide open look, but then De Paul, pull up from the elbow. Oh, that was a subtle little ball fake. On the half. Suns lead is 18. Booker finds an open bridges in the corner for three, and he looked like he was in no man's land. I was going to say, you know, video game culture is so popular right now with the yeah. players of this era, but you, I don't think people realize how popular it was back in your day either. Seating, it's number 10. They await an opponent, and that will be decided tomorrow when the Grizzlies go to San Francisco to meet the Warriors. In the That's how it always is. Every year. But you got to say, you know, thank goodness for the playing game. Congratulations. Chuck Person could shoot it. Boy, he could shoot it. But Chuck could also, he could just score from anywhere in... I've said it numerous times back. Uh, they were fresh. I was ready to go. I guess the question, Sean, is Coach Pop's going to be back tomorrow. We yeah. But LeBron James has been sidelined for a long time. Do you want to take on the Clippers in the first round? Well, in your career. When, when they start to run together for you, yeah, thinking right. about them and, and separating all of them. Sharich inside. And you go back to the 2008 playoffs. This was after the Suns had gotten Shaquille O'Neal almost to basically... Uh, obviously, Kevin Garnett, that was always a good matchup. And uh, Amari Stoudemire. Boy, he was a... Four. Galloway with five to shoot fires. Kaminsky offensive rebound. No, nope, but another attempt for Torrey Craig. And he's... Down the stretch. You know, obviously he was going to defend and play defense. But when the game was on the line, 
you could throw the ball down to Timmy Duncan, the low block, who's going to score? I mean, if I... Trey Jones. Backs his way off Kaminsky. And nice play there by... Torrey Craig showing his range now. Knocks down the three. And you consider that the Suns still fighting for that number one spot. They're going to play everybody as many healthy bodies as they have. I mean, you... Along with their rookie, Jalen Smith. First year player out of Maryland. Pop does lean on in terms of his rotation. I think it's based on the matchup. I think it's based on right. the game flow. Pop, who's, you know, or comes up empty. And the cell pushes it out to Quindary Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon ran right into the tank that was... And Langston Galloway. Next down. One footed thing, you're not fading left or right. And Evans in double figures with 10. Spurs come up with a steal. Quindary to the cup. Scores. I mean, Omar Asik was, he was long. Tall player, Anthony Davis on the ball. I mean, that play could have been better defended. Third double double of the season. He's got nine points, nine rebounds. Jalen Smith, the Wizards play the Hornets tomorrow. The Wizards, Hornets, and Pacers are all tied. So the wizard, uh, the winner of Wizards points, 10 rebounds. Got that mid-range game working. And Vassell running the floor. Lots of great players, but George, you know, put the franchise on the map. He, he really did. Uh, he was the reason I was a Spurs fan uh, way back in the day. Of Tim from his days at Wake Forest. Uh -huh. And and his college teammates are, are talking about video games. And I'm thinking, Sean said Tim. Get a chance to read it about, you know, not only Tim's days at Wake Forest, but even before that when he was, you know, playing high school in St. Croix in the Virgin Islands. Now, I'm going to get picked by a bad team. We're going to lose. And I'm not going to get to play again for another hour. And he said he's been fortunate to have a lot of firsts with the Spurs in his career. Here's just yeah. another one. And that will wrap this one up again. An afternoon where, yes, the Spurs lose, but the score seems somewhat secondary. One four.